Many churches are closing due to lack of membership and funds, yet one church has found a new beginning in the Wilkes-Barre-Scranton area. It is called the Fields of Grace United Methodist Church, and today I have Pastor Marcel Dotson with us from that church. Hello, Brittany. Hello, Marcel. <laughs> Could you tell us what do you think distinguishes this church from the other churches that have been closing in your area? Um, the biggest difference with Field of Grace is that we are a church that is not only Christ-centered but intentionally diverse. Um, and so we seek to be a multicultural, multi-ethnic church. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was reading that there was research that the population has been changing. Mm -hmm. and. Um, it's hard, I've heard a lot of people say that the church is the place that's most segregated mm -hmm. still in America. What has your church done to break down those barriers? Um, we intentionally sought to talk to and invite people who are different from ourselves. I'm African American, but we, have a, we also have people who are white. And, and we just made it a, a point of going out, talking to people from different cultural backgrounds and telling them about this church. And so not only inviting them, but creating a worship service that honors different cultural traditions. And so, for example, when we started rehearsing our music, the first three songs we learned were not in English. Mm -hmm. One was in Cherokee, one was in Zulu, one was in Spanish. Then we decided, oh, we better start practicing some English songs too. And so our music comes from a variety of cultures, um, but very, very intentional about celebrating and honoring the different cultures that are now living in Wilkes-Barre. Um, do you have many people that aren't just different cultures, but also speak different languages attending your church? Right now, our folks, um, the folks that we have a relationship with speak English, they speak Spanish, um, and they speak Indian. <laughs> Are there translators available for them? Well, they or? also speak English, and okay. so for now, um, we're able to do our service in, in English to accommodate the folks who are coming, even though their second language is different. Well, it's so wonderful to know that there's a church out there that's seeking mm -hmm. um, seeking a church that's going to bring everyone together from different cultures and different languages and just come together in a body of Christ. Well, we're excited about it. You know, our vision is taken from Revelation 7-9, um, where John says he looked out and before the throne of Jesus Christ, he sees a multitude of people of every race, every language, every tribe, celebrating and praising God together. And that's the church we want to look like. And so we're doing whatever we need to, to look like John's vision in Revelation. That's wonderful. Thank you for bringing that vision to us. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm.